Thank you so much for having me. My name is Lucy Benavides. We often doubt ourselves because we either succeed or we fail. A black and white concept. A quote by George Isles stated once, doubt is the beginning, not the end of wisdom. In my speech, I'll share a personal experience I had with self-doubt that was stopping me from getting out of my comfort zone and reach my other possible opportunities such as my career of choice. Self-doubt is a lack of confidence. It is an uncertainty of all aspects. Self-doubt can go a long way. It can start as one thought unto another. Self-doubt cannot always be negative. It can be a positive and form a second opinion as well. I had second thoughts about my choice of career. My favorite hobby is cooking. My high school electives were always culinary class. I had always had a job in the food industry as well. By the time I graduated, I knew I had to sign up for a culinary class. I didn't bother to go through a list of other career choices because I was comfortable. A few months into culinary school, I doubted my choice of career. I felt as though I've been stuck with a routine rather than having fun cooking as a hobby. I felt as though I served a bigger purpose. When I came across the quote, I took it as a sign. I was already in deep self-doubt and thought that there was no way out and I wasted my time. Because I was comfortable with what I know, I did not try to expand my abilities. My fear of failure led me to close off opportunities and led me to build so doubt about my potential with any other career. But that was not the case. Because this call stuck to me, I was able to reach out my potential and choose my career in the medical field as a paramedic. This was a time self-doubt prevented me from overlooking my abilities and achieve more in life rather than stick to a routine. The possibilities are endless. You are in your own timeline. Go for what fits you best. I appreciate your time. Thank you for having me.